in this video i'm going to show you guys everything you need to know how to set up a sql server database connection in merge as you can see on my screen right now i have two windows open the one on the left is merge connect administrator version 3.8 that i have installed on my machine on the right hand side we have uh, 2019 microsoft sql server management studio which we also call it ssms as abbreviation in the ssms i'm using the account sa is meant for system admin now when you take a look at sa database we can see that we have a multiple schema right here but the one that we go to you for this particular exercise is merge db okay so let's expand the database and we can see the table inside okay so uh, these are all the table that i have and the table that we're going to use for the channel we're going to view in merge is employee human resource employee let's just take a look at it and see what we have in the table okay so select right click right click to the table and select top 1000 row so you can see here we have just you know very simple data um, employee id um, you know job title birth date uh, gender hire date employee name things like that in order for merge connect to sql server database there are a few setup that i have to go over with you guys from the start menu type in manager now you can see this is sql server 2019 configuration manager now open that one okay i already have it open right here so here's a problem guys when i first install sql server under sql server network configuration ssms m m s s sql server this is my uh, my instance and the default setting was uh, right here i remember it was disabled and this one was is disabled also so because of that reason when i connect when i make the connection to the database it keep erroring me out and it's very frustrated so before you do anything go into the configuration manager and make sure you have all of these enabled this is how merge can can communicate with sql server database okay so remember this part let me just minimize this for now we don't need it anymore okay so let's just go in merge and build a new channel when you log into merge first thing you will see is a dashboard which right now we don't have anything i just want to have everything clean now for you guys so we can start from the scratch so dashboard that's where we're going to land uh, when you first open up the merge okay now go to channel under channel here you will see channel task you will see new channel and import channel new channel which means you create new channel no doubt right and import channel which means a channel that you already save somewhere in your local directory or usb drive or anything like that and you can import that in through here okay for, but for now we go to do new channel so click on new channel and let's just give it a name so tutorial i just give it tutorial db for now okay tutorial i can't spell today i can type today tutorial db so basically the channel pur purpose is to query the database and print out a text file in a uh, local directory that's the whole purpose of this uh, tutorial okay so we we have that uh, uh, channel name right there tutorial db uh, go to the next tab which is sort right here connect the type click a drop down and select database reader okay we're going to 
set the time click yes that means when we deploy the channel it's gonna output the file right away for us and just one time we don't uh, the channel not gonna repeat it output uh, constantly okay okay so let's go to the database reader set setting under driver click the drop down because we are using SQL server so we're going to select SQL server and this right here is the driver so please don't change anything because it's already pre-populated so just leave it as it is click next one click insert URL template basically this is the connection string so host you can type in localhost because we are using localhost okay localhost and the port that we are using is 1433 1433 and the database name is merge db remember when we first start i mentioned to you that we're going to use this database this is the database name okay merge db username this is the account that you log into uh, sql server which i already told you that we go to you sa as a system admin account okay so type sa and put in the password make sure you type in the password correct there's three things um, when you set up the database reader setting Make sure the URL is correct, username is correct, and the password is correct. Okay. All right. Let's verify that. So let me maximize this a little bit so you can see that. Okay. So right here, click select. Now pay attention to this one. There's a get table button right here. And at the bottom right, you will see that little bar right here. Now pay attention when I click to it. You see that? It say retrieving table. This is a good sign, okay? So that's mean you haven't typed in the table name yet. So right here, filter by. This is where you type in the table name, but we haven't typed it in yet. So right now it's a good, um, good status. That's mean it is connected to the database. That's why you see retrieving table, but there's nothing coming up. That's a good sign, okay? Let's say if you let's close that out first say if you type in the wrong credential yes you type in the wrong database name or you type in the you know the wrong username let's say i type one two three four okay now let's do that again you will see this see that we bottom right it keeps saying retrieving table but here you got an error so that's what you know that's will tell you um you, you have an error and you need to go back and, and, and look at the, the the string username and password things like that okay so let's just go back here click like that click okay uh, let's just close that for now um, so the table that we're going to use is the employee table right here okay so let's just take a look okay this is the table so in merge type in the table name v employee get table you see that if the connection is it's established and here are the table column that you want to choose um, basically it's gonna write out for you a select statement after you click generate right here okay so but for for me Right now we're gonna check everything just to make sure right here so this is the select statement or the column okay but to make sure it's work accordingly we have to type in instead of v employee type in this whole human resource dot v employee next up we're gonna create a destination this is where the file that you want to output to okay um, right here you can double click you can type uh, destination name or whatever but right now I just leave it as a default destination one but for you you can type in anything okay 
connect the type select file writer this is where we're going to write out the file okay and we're going to test that uh, directory make sure it's, it's, uh, it's legit um, so in the directory right here this is where we're going to output the file okay so copy the path paste it in here Now let's just test it. See if this is this correct. See successful connect connect to that uh, path right there. Uh, we just added in. Okay, the file name. Let's just say tutorialdb.txt. We just want to output the text file. That's it. Very simple. And right here, put down encoded data. Yep, just like that. Um, you don't have to do anything with the script description. We already finished the sort. Everything is good. Um, so next thing we're gonna do is save the channel, and we're going to deploy it. Before we be deploy the channel, go back to the summary. Double check this box right here. This right now is enabled, that which is good. But um, sometimes it's just is this and check for you as in enable and uh, that means the channel is currently disabled status so it's not gonna let you deploy okay so make sure you have this box check enable and after that you can deploy the channel are you sure you want to deploy this channel yes and going back here do you see this it's I'll put out the, the text file at this time, which is, you know, like right now, we, we just did it. Let's just open it, okay? This is text delimited in a way. You see that? So yeah, this is how we, um, we connect to the database from Merge. Mm, there's a few tips that I, uh, I want to give you. Remember, you need to have the status connection enabled so Merge can connect it to the SQL database, okay? Make sure this is very important part right here. And the next thing is the sort. Make sure this is working. Everything, the username, password, the URL connection string is correct, okay? And if you have those things set up correctly, you should be able to create the database and write out anything that you want. That's it for this tutorial. I hope it's helpful. And um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Help me to support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, have a good day.